are out in France in the mountains. It's called La Fecla. La Fecla? Yeah. La Fecla. Yeah. La Fecla. I am not very good with French at all. So what we're actually going to do right now is to take the Nexus 4 and try out Photosphere. Francois came out with a good way to actually do it so it's very quick and also very accurate so you don't get a lot of weird type of artifacts in the image. So what I'm going to show you right now is a nice dizzying effect. If you get motion sickness, this might not be the best way for you to make a photosphere, but this is probably the best way. So what you need to do is actually keep your arms close to your body. You want to hold it up and it's going to say align to start. Now the idea is to move around the camera so that you're only pivoting your hand up and down. What you don't want to do is start moving your arms up and down like this because then we'll definitely be getting some artifacts. So what we're going to do is stay in this exact same circle plane. We're going to go around like a globe and complete this pretty much middle, top to bottom. Since it's also bright out here, we're going to be able to do this very quickly around in a circle. If it were darker, the exposure time, you know, it would take a lot longer to end up taking a picture. So, here we go. <sighs> All right. Start turning around, making as little arm, arm movement as possible. Returning to my reference point and my cameraman. Yes, you're going to be seeing the cameraman here. Pivot your hand upward like this and complete the circle. You can see the little blue dots are following around perfectly. And again, pivot upward. And circle. What's also nice is because I'm pivoting this way, I'm not going to be seeing any holes in the image. Take it, pivot downward, start completing the lower part of your sphere. Pivot again. And what's nice is that since I'm moving around the camera, I shouldn't be getting my feet in the shot. It's very little at all. So, I'm going to head and hit stop. I don't know how well this turned out, but we're going to hit stop. You can see that uh, it is now rendering here. And hopefully, when it's done, it will be able to render everything together so that all the planes are correct and you don't see any type of weird artifacts. It takes a few minutes. Okay, so, oh, look at this. Oh, that looks perfect, perfecto. So we're just going to start viewing it. Now you can see that uh, the lines are actually pretty lined up here. Here's our cameraman. He looks pretty good. I'm going to start scrolling around. You've got some skiers there. You can see that all the planes have actually nicely lined up. Google's done a very good job with the software on this. You can see the sky. And you can see the ground. So everything actually looks quite nice. And then all you need to do is tap it. And it will start auto panning by itself. So you can see your whole beautiful image actually worked out quite well. So this is where I am right now! Whee! It worked! It worked very well! I am so happy with the result. Can we go get a hamburger? Yes! <laughs> Can we get a hamburger? <laughs> a hot dog, yeah. Now before I forget, I want to show you a feature that's called Tiny Planet. A lot of people were asking me how I had done this. After you've made your photosphere, go ahead and click on your photosphere. You can see that you got three choices here. You can edit the image. You can also pick this one that looks kind of like a world with trees and towers. Let's go ahead and click on that guy. And this is how you make your tiny planet. The first thing you can do is choose the rotation or the orientation of the image. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it in the way that I enjoy most, where Mr. Francois here is facing straight upward on his little mound device. Kind of looks like an ice cream cone people pointed out to me yesterday. You can also decide the size that you want, so we're going to go ahead and drag this. You can see you can make it bigger, really big, and see all the details that you'd like. Or if you'd like to zoom out, you can see the full picture of what you were looking at. So I like this. This looks pretty cool. So you go ahead and you say, apply tiny planet. Saving to camera. Now if you'd like to, you can edit it afterwards. It looks so awesome. Looks like total atmosphere and sky with trees. Go ahead and pick it. You can see you can add all kinds of cool effects. We've got punch, we've got vintage, we've got black and white, we've got bleach. We've got everything that you can possibly think of. You can put it in some type of framing, like so. You can also crop it and rotate it. You can go ahead and add a variety of other settings. Let's go ahead and pick curves. You can mess around with your gamma. 
Ooh. Wee. Let's make a crazy burn effect. Now it's on fire! So apply curves. Change the framing again. Ha ha! Check that out. I like it. Go ahead and save it now. Save! And there you have it! On top of ice cream, the world is on fire! Whee! Okay. Cool. Bye!